Uh, yeah, Panay Sewell falls right into our lap, right? And yep. it works out to be just fantastic, uh, great. He, he he has a great rookie season. You know, that that third pick overall the year before, we we talked about it a injuries lot. Injuries suck. Live, on our, yeah, <laughs> the injuries do suck, but it was not the best way for them to go about, um, you know, oh, no. drafting in that third spot. And so now we're sitting here at number two, and it's kind of a situation of, okay, are they going to do the right thing, right? Are they going to do the right well, thing? And what is the right thing? Well, and so I know what the right thing is in your mind. I see that block M sitting next to your head. <laughs> I know what the right thing is in your mind, AJ Riley. That that there's potential for that, right? But like this EJ Perry article that Don wrote, right? We all know that the Lions need a quarterback. We do. But do they need a quarterback this year? This is for the backup and future situations. We're not talking about drafting a quarterback to come start right now and take over for Jared Goff. That's why you're not hearing about the Lions looking at Kenny Pickett or any of the top Malik Willis, your guy out of Liberty, any of the top quarterback oh, prospects. Oh, you know, I, I, see, the, oh, I, I see him. Liberty, Liberty. <laughs> Jacket. If you are pulling for Malik Willis to be the number two pick by the Lions. I am not at all because <laughs> here's the reality. I have nothing against Malik Willis, okay? I'm not a huge – like there are exceptions to this rule because there's exceptions to every rule, but I'm not a huge proponent of small school quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. And I know that makes me sound like an elitist in a lot of ways, but I'll wear that badge with honor because there are exceptions, right? Josh Allen, okay? But, like, yep. Carson Wentz came out pretty hyped, and he's mm. been – I don't know what's going on with Carson Wentz. <laughs> and, and and so, like, I, I get all the hype around Malik Willis. He looked good throwing the ball at the Combine. I get that, but he did not look good when I saw him this year against – was it Auburn, I think, that they played? The, the one good this year I they, played? they played. I think it was Ole Miss because it was um, their head coach's former team, right? Mm -hmm. And and he looked awful, like so bad. I turned it off. I was like, "This guy's not, not like you're proving my theory of small school quarterbacks, right?" And so, I what I don't want to see the Lions do, and I think will be a disaster. Like, why are we drafting a backup quarterback, wasting draft capital, unless we can get somebody in like the sixth, seventh round, right? Yes. But I'm not drafting a quarterback until after the fourth, maybe even after the fifth round, because there's no reason to right now. That's what this is, though. Is, it is. It, it is that fourth or fifth round guy that – you never know, becomes Tom Brady. Sixth round pick, 199th overall. Look what he turned into his first career.